I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Next Gen Banking London, the AI revolution. Kindly joining me now is Jonathan Orrit, data scientist at Santander. Hello Jonathan, thank you very much for joining Hi, us. Hannah. So at this year's event we're going to be uncovering some of the mysteries around AI, which is the title of your panel. But to start off, I really want to know about sort of the impact of AI on financial services particularly. Yes, so it's it's really starting to, to build up now. We, I mean, AI at the minute academia is really churning out a lot of information and financial services has to react to that okay the amount of IP that's coming out of that industry is amazing within the financial services realm we're seeing both at the front office and the back office big big changes are happening okay you're seeing from an AI perspective with chatbots biometrics you know facial recognition a lot of input into the way that customers are now interacting with us as a bank account openings completely changed by passport image recognition, you know, customers can open up bank accounts within minutes. Um, if you look at the back office, AI is not only doing things for the customers, it's doing things for our employees, okay? It's churning out vast quantities of data that our employees are. Some of them are happy about, some of them are not so much, but it's giving cus the, the, not only customers but employees more insights into what our customers want, okay? Which in turn is generating more products, more personalization more reasons for the customers to join Santander or these other banks that are, that are out there and on offer. So it's, it's a really, really exciting time. Um, all right, and how do you think you manage AI sort of at enterprise level, but also business level, particularly at Santander? So within Santander, we operate a, a hub and spoke model, which is, is a centralized team within our enterprise, acts as a kind of innovation lab where um, all the cool ideas and all the academia um, really starts to brew around and we start to get all the fresh and hip cool things coming from there. It's really the sexy area of, of AI, okay? Um, and then we have the spokes and I'm in one of those spokes. And I'm not saying we're, we're unsexy, we, we, we try our best, but you know, it, it's the areas of specialization and that's really important with AI and data science is it's not just about mathematics and computer skills, it's about having business now, knowing what the problem is on the front line, okay? Me specifically, I'm in transactions, but you can look at fraudulent areas, financial crime have areas of specialization. And managing that is, is complex, it's, it's difficult. Some areas are very good and some areas are a bit behind, okay? It's really about how that central hub really manages that and I guess integrates all those different areas and brings them together, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and also how you can share ideas and, and motivations across the organization. Sure, that's really interesting. And um, following on from that quite nicely then, one of the questions we're also looking at are sort of the ethical concerns around AI. What do you think are some of the considerations going forward? It, it, it's massive, okay? And, and in the panel discussion we were talking before that in the traditional world, a data scientist spends 80% of their time wrangling data and 20% of their time modeling data and doing, doing the, the cool side of data science. But really, that's changed now. It's 40% it's of the time is wrangling and cleaning data, 10% of the time is modeling, and 50% of my time is, is considering the ethical dilemma of the data product that I'm building. Okay? If I'm building some kind of classifier that's going to say to a customer, you're going to get the loan or not, okay? and it chooses it based on whether you shop at Aldi or Waitrose, it's not fair, it's not ethical, okay? And these are the type of things that you have to consider and there are a thousand and one different things that a machine can delve from it, the data that it's given, and, th and that's inherent, that's customers, that's a machine learning from customer and employee data, which is human data, which is bias, okay? So it's about how do we get an internal ethical committee or forum together that looks at these, not only from within your spoke, but from other spokes around the organization, the governance layers, and then also externally, okay, what are the regulators going to do? In machine learning, machines change all the time, every day, every week. So if I go to the regulator next week and say, ta-da, here's my machine, the week after, the machine will be completely different. It's learned from new things, it's got new ethical dilemmas, it's about how do we put a, I guess, a framework around that to quickly react to the speed at which these machines are changing and making these ethical dilemmas. Sure. Well, Jonathan, I'll let you get back to the event. Thank you very much for coming and speaking with us. Thank you. And thank you for watching.